Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we're reacting to Camp Camp Season 2 Episode 5. The episode with the pretty spoilerific title, I guess. Because it's called Jasper Dies at the End. And who remembers Episode 5 of the first season? Um, we had Spooky Island with Jasper, who turned out to be a ghost. So, I mean, we know that Jasper died someday. Like... I mean, why would he be a ghost? Um, but yeah, still, um, we kind of know what happens, but we don't know how and why. So, uh, last time we had Jeremy farts. Um, that was interesting, uh, I guess. Uh, a lot of fart jokes and David ruining everything, even though everyone thought Max would be the one to ruin everything. Yeah. Um, Typical for Camp Camp. So, yeah, I guess we'll just jump in. Um, I just watched that episode right before this, and um, for everyone who just watched, um, who watched my other reaction, I'm a little bit tired and uh, a little bit. I was a little bit bored before, so I decided to just react to stuff. Um, <laughs> Because uh, I technically don't have to, but I'm going to use my time now uh, and not sleep until 1 p.m. like yesterday. Yeah, so we just got to jump in before I start rambling about my sleep schedule that is totally ruined. <laughs> and we're going to go into episode 5. Jasper dies at the end in 3, 2, 1. Uh, okay, that, that went wrong. That is not on. That is so weird right now. Okay, I wait a little. Okay, I found out what the problem was. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. I just can't believe you kids. Calm down, Space Kid will be fine. Or he won't. It's fine either way. What Ooh, happened to Space I've Kid? I've never seen the Jaws of Life in action before. Guys, the glue is seeping into my butt. Pipe down, Space Kid. You're not the only one suffering. We're stuck in this dumb car, too. And it's only fair, after trapping our poor intrepid camper in there in the first place, he's only Traffic? trying to get to space. Thank you! Now buckle in, kiddos. It's a long drive to Sleepy Peak General. Mm. Okay, <sighs> it's a long trip. But if we stay quiet and don't trigger any of David's long-winded stories, we should... Hey, David, what's that? Oh, this and he's well, that gonna takes me tell back, back one of to his the stories. day I truly fell in love with Camp Campbell. Oh God! Why would you? You see, it's, it's gonna be story. Years ago, back when I was a Campbell camper, just like yourselves. And no, then no, no, Jasper no. dies at the end because Jasper was a camper with David. Okay, I will have skipped that again. So Camp Campbell It's gonna campers. be like that from now on. Is it going? Who's ready to honor this year's best camper in our ancient Order of the Sparrow ceremony? They were very the enthusiastic. It's a time-honored tradition here at Camp Campbell, ever since I won this land in a fair and honest game of charades. So it is my great okay. pleasure to honor our best camper. Didn't Royal expect Gilgan, anything less. Who pushes above and beyond in every activity. A great leader with a positive attitude. I think you all know who I'm talking about. It's young Jasper! Woo! Oh. Right. Totally tubular. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say we all saw this coming. Congratulations, Jasper! Now, as we all know, the final step to earning this prestigious rank is... Quartermaster, what's the next step? It is so writ that the final step is for the leader to guide the young one into the unknown wilds and acquire a branch from the sleepy pine tree using nothing but one's wits and wisdom of the land. Right. So that means... Go on a hike, bring back a stick. What a load of hooey! That is... Whoa, whoa, who's hooeying out there? Me! Ooh. Davy, that's who. Oh no, not Davy! He's such a troublemaker! What?! <laughs> oh my god. Who cares about going out into the dang woods to get closer to dang nature anyway? Whoa, careful about throwing those dangs around, Davey. What the Davey, fuck happened so to him? If only you would apply yourself. Yeah, Davy, if you actually tried, maybe you could be as good a camper as me, Jasper, the best camper. 
There's more to life than camping, Jasper. Don't be such a square. <gasps> Whoa, Davy. What's your major malfunction? I have an idea, Mr. Campbell. Why don't we have Davy join you and Jasper on the trek, too? Great idea, Darla. That would definitely get Davy in the camping spot. That's gonna go wrong. But like, he gets lost totally or something, wrong. the legal fees are coming out of your paycheck, Greg. Aw, again? Okay, kiddos. Let's get out there and I'm sorry, Greg. Deal. Yeah! <sighs> this is gonna be off the heezy, huh, Davy? I just hope my fresh kicks don't get too dirty. Look, they're LA Gear light up shoes. Well, they work better in the dark, I guess. Yeah, that'll be real handy, I'm sure. Are you now we know why Campbell, David is so keen on like, changing maps. Because he was like him. He was totally like him. Am like, excited? maybe not too. That's like asking if those newly announced Star but. Wars prequels are going to be awesome. Hold your horses. No. <laughs> Agent Patrol decrees They're not. That one's own knowledge of the wilderness can be taken on the sacred trek. Do what now? Drop them gizmos. Oh, oh, I oh see. my What's God. What's wrong, Mr. Campbell? You can still guide us without all that fancy techno stuff, no. right? No, well, he of can't. Of course I can, Jasper. I've never used technology on any of my adventures. Except for that time in Burma. And Botswana. And Nicaragua. And Detroit. Mr. Campbell? Is a gun technology? Sigh. Oh my god. It's it's really funny to see David like that. Like as a kid and just acting like Max did. <laughs> or like Max still does. That doesn't seem like the right Mr. way. Campbell. I know you're the expert here and all, but I feel obligated to point something out. We are completely lost. What? Yes. Nonsense. I recognize this tree. That's because we've walked by it ten times. Really? Hmm. Only felt like five. Wait, look. It's the sleepy pine in all its sleepy glory. Looks like we've done it after. Ah! Oh no! Hmm? Holy shnikes! This is whack. Okay. Save you, Jasper. This is not how Jasper's story ends. Ah! Jasper! Or it does. Okay. He's dead. He's dead and we witnessed it. We didn't witness anything. And that we'll was testify to that. Kind of anticlimactic. Guys, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. See? He's fine. <laughs> Let's grab one of those branches and call this trial Dunzo. We can't go back yet. We have to rescue Jasper. Look, I know I'm a bad kid. I'm rotten to the core. But Jasper is the best of us. He deserves to be saved. And even if I'm not as good as he is, I'll be able to look back on this moment someday while possibly telling this story to some kids in a car on the way to the hospital and be- Wait, wait, wait. Excuse me? Yeah, there's no yeah. way you fucking said that. Guys, mm -hmm. be quiet. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> what happened next? Now she is. <laughs> well, we've been searching for hours. We've been searching for hours. Mr. Campbell, do you even know where we're going? Of no. course I do. He doesn't Look, know. He never knows. that tree again. Aw, oh, dang. Mr. Campbell, how are we supposed to track down Jasper? Well, I've got this new GPS system, also known as Global Positioning System System. If you can keep your mouth shut, we can track down Jasper in no time. No way, Jose. We're not going to blow this for Jasper by using technology, especially when nature has the answer for us right here. Looky! A stream! Water always follows the path of least resistance, so in theory it should be our quickest route down to Jasper. Well, if I did everything water did, I wouldn't be a millionaire. I'd just take the shape of my container. Hmm. I hope they follow this stream. Water always takes the path of least resistance. I'm sure Mr. Campbell knows that. How else could he have been voted richest outdoorsman of 1994? Because he was rich. That was fast. They've already found me. Hey, home skills. It's not them. For a second there, I thought I was in some grave danger. You ah, are in danger. Okay. That's... 
It's Jerry was quick. Ellie gear light up shoe. He would never leave something as valuable as this behind. Well, we tried our best. Time to call for help using my state-of-the-art cellular telephone. You weren't planning on having kids, were you? Mr. Campbell, this is the time okay. to get and use technology. We have to do it the right way, the honorable way, the way Jasper would want us to do it. Wow. That is it's really kind of cute dude. how he like so, started doing everything myself, like then. nature no, my precious stuff we have to save Jasper. because of Jasper. Let's find some clues. What, like those tracks going into the woods? Yes. You're right, Mr. Campbell. Looks like Jasper was dragged away, and there are bear tracks leading into the bushes. Oh, you don't think he's been adopted by bears? It's unlikely, but I've seen bears do some pretty crazy things before. Well, let's track him down. What kind of pretty crazy things? The tracks lead up into this cave. Excellent. They're probably that kind of reminds me of episode two. Hunt. Like be easy as pie when they search in. for the mascot. Wait, do you think Jasper was their latest hunt? Oh, well, I do now. Let's get in there. It sure is spooky in here. Jasper, are you in here? Mr. Campbell? Yes, I'm here. But you need to be quiet. You're going to wake the bears. What? I'm afraid you're going to have to speak up. It's too dark in here. Oh, my God. That's odd. This cave seems to be coated with some kind of fur like Mr. Campbell. Oh, Mr. Campbell, I'm pretty sure that's a He's ruining bear. it for everyone. Oh, boy, I think we're in trouble. What do we do? You gotta get me out of here! We can't! We're surrounded! If only I could see! It's just so dark! Duh. Look, they're LA Gear light-up shoes. Well, they work better in the dark, I guess. That's it! Now's our chance, Mr. Campbell! I'm on it! Okay. Just like Detroit. Jeez, Mr. Campbell. Yeah, I just meant now was our chance to grab Jasper and run away, not murder the bears. Yes, yeah. murder is normally wrong, but I happen to have the perfect spot in my summer home for these two. Let's haul these bad boys back to the camp. Oh, yeah, okay. And then I said, ah, just like Detroit. <laughs> And it's because of his heroic actions that Davy will also be receiving a badge to honor his bravery, just like Jasper. Me? Really? And now it starts. Wow, that was an interesting well, change. I never thought I would come to love nature and camping as much as I do now. I didn't think I was capable of doing all those things. And you, Mr. Campbell. You tried to test me. You wanted me to take the easy way out. You made me apply myself. How can we save Jasper? I don't think I that was his plan. I reached my full potential, and it's all thanks to you. Hmm? And uh, how does yeah, Jasper yeah, die now? I love Camp Campbell. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Jasper has been disqualified from the order due to illegal use of light-up shoe technology on his trek. Ah, oh, what? That stinks. But do I get to keep the badge? No, you do not. I think I'll be this happy for the rest of my life. Yes. Dang. This Mostly. Camp, this camp kind of sucks. All right, kids, let's get mm. back to our activities. Poor Jasper. Those platypus eggs Just because of light up shoes. And that's how I came to love Camp Campbell. Mm. Ah, I love that story. So, what did you kids think? I think we passed the hospital two hours ago. Hmm. Also, we're out of gas. Okay. Um, I, I didn't catch if Jasper really died or if that was just like some. But yeah, the camp camp hall is weird and <laughs> we already knew that. <laughs> No, um, god, I didn't notice that the camera, I have to reposition it because of sunlight stuff. I hope not too much footage is like that. That would have been not great. So, um, oh shit. Everything's falling apart. Why is everything freaking falling apart? Yeah, uh. To talk about this episode now and not about my clumsiness and my weird setup that I will definitely change when I come back home. 
um, yeah, it was an interesting episode and they kind of like led us down the wrong path because of Jasper in the title, he dies at the end. Well, he doesn't. Just Cameron Campbell kind of talks about platypuses in the incubator. And I guess that could be how he died? Because, I mean, platypuses are pretty aggressive. Uh, yeah, but otherwise, uh, it's funny to see that story. Like, if it's true, I, I don't know if it's true because David is kind of a little bit biased because he has given himself the goal to make Max a better camper. So I could imagine him trying to kind of change the story a little bit just to make himself seem like Max and that he could change and that Max can change too. But um, if it's true, it's very interesting to see that, that David was like him, that, that he was like totally um, not down for camping and um, that this trip changed him even though I felt bad for Jasper. Um, like, just because of light-up shoes? I mean, it kind of saved their lives. Um, like, all their lives. So, I don't know if you should just take everything away, what he accomplished, just because of shoes. Um, but yeah, um, this was an interesting episode, again, and a lot of callbacks to episode 5 of the pre previous season, like the Jasper stuff, and then the bears um, that we saw in the summer home um, that were kind of creepy for everyone but Max. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop recording now because the sunlight is really bad right now. Uh, and I really don't like this setup because the door is weird and you can see this little part here. Um, so yeah, on this note, have a nice day and I see you in the next video. Bye!